Hey what's up guys welcome back to the another video this video is about Papoos the beautiful and fastest Linux distribution ever in this video i will talk everything about Papoos what's new and its features so make sure you hit the subscribe button down there and consider clicking bell icon to get notified whenever i post a new video so let's get started what is Papoos and who has developed it System76 is a hardware vendor who ships laptop, desktop and servers with Linux Ubuntu, hence PopOS. It is based on Linux Ubuntu with many GNOME tweaks. I think the most important thing about PopOS is in the OS itself. After all, OS is little more than a rebranded Ubuntu GNOME. What's important is here is that the PopOS is developed by a PC manufacturer. You may be thinking, so what? But think about it. How many PC manufacturers offer their own OS? The answer is two, Apple and Microsoft. The fact that System76 has taken this approach to desktop OS is interesting. System76 now has the freedom to tweak the Pop! OS to better serve its customer. Out of the box, Pop! OS feels same as Ubuntu, but System76 added more optimization and tweaks to Pop! OS that makes a difference from Ubuntu. Now let's talk about the features of Pop! OS. First let me show you the version as I'm running on my PC. I'm gonna open the setting page and here you can see the Pop! OS version along with the system specification. No one like Ubuntu, Pop! OS supports NVIDIA, AMD and Intel proprietary drivers which means it has a generic NVIDIA, AMD and Intel drivers pre-installed on a system that improves the performance of a desktop environment. Due to that, Pop! OS works like a charm. It's butter smooth, the animation and transition you get to see throughout the system is marvelous. So by now you understand Pop! OS is built on top of Ubuntu to the default GNOME environment look much refresher in Pop! OS. System76 added a software modification to distinguish between Ubuntu and Pop! OS. If you are a fan of flat design interface reminiscent of material design on Android, you will like the theme that comes as default in Pop! OS. The desktop and title bar all uses a bright Turkish theme that make the interface feel more natural. For example, the font you get to see in Pop! OS is much cleaner to read. Like Ubuntu, Pop! OS offers some system applications which are pre-installed. You get a default file manager, Firefox, Office Toolkits and many other applications. Now Pop! OS also comes pre-loaded with a screen recorder. The built-in screen recorder lets you record the screen which is good to see. Now one thing I like about Pop! OS is the desktop pages. You can easily switch between desktop pages by using a keyboard shortcut or Windows plus up or down arrow key to switch between the pages of desktop. Just take a look at the speed and the smoothness of the UI. It's much refined and definitely much faster and responsive than Ubuntu. To preview the desktop pages, just press the Windows key on the keyboard, revealing all the desktop pages and shows the preview of application of the selected desktop page. This way, multitasking would be much faster and smoother compared to Ubuntu OS. You may have faced some system freezing issues when dealing with desktop pages but not in the pop os thanks to the better graphics driver the whole system ui feels much faster and cleaner now when it comes to system animation and transition oh boy it's definitely much improved just look at a smoothie transition of the app launcher it is super smooth and much quicker the opening and closing transition of application is also very smooth these transitions are much better compared to Ubuntu Linux. Like Ubuntu Software Center, Pop! OS comes preloaded with App Store named as Pop Shop. Now there are tons of apps you can download from different categories. For software developers, Pop Shop is extremely useful. You can download various text editors and IDEs for software development. This way you don't need to rely on third-party resources. For example, if you are looking for a C++ IDE, simply search for code block and download it. Similarly, for Java developers, search for NetBeans and many tools available that fulfill basic necessity of the naive Linux user.
The bottom line of this video, if you are a software developer who wants high performance desktop environment and minimal user interface, then PopOS is the one you must give it a shot. Being a penetration tester, I'm also in love with PopOS. I can feel that I'm getting addicted to PopOS every single day. For a computer science student, this is the best Linux distribution ever for learning the basic concept of shell scripting, C programming and more. So let me know what you think about PopOS, should you try it? Also comment your opinion and suggestions, I definitely consider it improving a channel. That's pretty much it, this has been Root Hunter, I'll catch you in my next video, goodbye.